It's February 24th, 2023. My first gem, avocado. I came out here and I started noticing it's starting to change color here. It's starting to turn dark. So I think it's time to pick it. Let's do it. Okay. Here it is. Look how beautiful the skin looks. It's got the, it's almost like gold sticking out. But it's definitely turning darker on the tree, which is uh, something different that I'm just noting for myself. So this is a beautiful looking avocado. I'm going to go weigh it right now. Okay, it looks like 11.3 ounces. What's up guys, we're back. A little quick taste test of my first gem avocado. I picked this a couple weeks ago and I pulled this off, stuck a toothpick in and it's pretty soft now. So the skin is definitely thicker than some of the other varieties that I've had uh, in the last couple of days. So um, we'll give this a try. And what I'm gonna do is taste this compared to a homegrown Hass, which is something I picked off of my tree. So this is the first gem, and I'm kind of curious to see how it is because everybody's been talking about this variety and saying how good it is and how fruitful it is. So for me, I only have one tree, and uh, I only got one fruit, and this is the first fruit that I got and uh, excited to see what it looks like on the inside. So let's cut this thing open and, and kind of do it, right? So, let's see. It does feel, I mean, the skin feels uh, a little on the thicker side. So, cutting it. Let's see what it looks like. Hey, looks pretty good. Uh, shape of the seed is kind of more like a pointy shape there um, this line right there is not normal this was when I stuck the toothpick in so that wouldn't be there um, so let's do my uh, my peel test real quick which is very scientific of course <laughs> so I usually cut it on the bias like this and then I just kind of peel it away. Oh wow, that peels really nice. The skin kind of holds together. It's it's on the thicker side, but it's a little rubbery, which is good. So this is a. It peels really nice. I like that. Let me let me do a quick taste here. Wow, that's good. Very nutty, um, not as creamy as some of the other varieties. Um, I would say the the texture is a little bit more firm, but it does have the avocado taste. It does have a very nutty flavor to it, so I do like that. Um, so let me uh, let me just put that aside for now, and then uh, let me let me just do this hass real quick. Um, so this is a homegrown hass off of my tree, and uh, if you guys have been following along, this thing's been pretty productive so far, and I've only had it in the ground for uh, a couple of years. So it has that line again. I don't know what that is. I don't think I stuck a toothpick in this. So, so if you look at the color difference, this is a gem. This is a Hass. Um, the gem to me looks a little bit more on the, I guess, yellow, darker yellow, and this is a little lighter. The Hass is a little lighter. So again, Hass is uh, pretty easy to peel, so I'll do the peel test for you guys. Oh, yeah, see, there you go. Peels really nicely. Um, I would say that this one does feel like it's a little bit more uh, ripe. <laughs> uh, 
and uh, it ripened faster than the gem actually so that was kind of interesting for me to kind of note that um, I I picked the Hass after I picked the gem and the gem is still like a little bit on the firmer side but the Hass is of course um, the good old Hass that everybody has right so let's let's do a taste test well because it, it's um, <laughs> it's probably a little bit more ripe so it's a little bit more smooth compared to the gem but I would say the gem has a it's different flavor wise um, it's different it's not like a, uh, I wouldn't say one's more nutty than but I, I guess let me, let me this is the gem let me try it again very similar but a little different. Um, if I had to choose between the two, um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I maybe I'll go. F Hass might just because this is a little bit more ripe. That might be a kind of an unfair advantage. But as of right now, because this ripened up a little bit more. The has is a little better, but the gem does have a really good flavor profile to it. And, um, you know, it's, it's actually a bigger fruit too, which is kind of nice. Peels really nice also. Um, and, um, you know, I'm expecting my tree to produce a lot of fruit this year, but we will definitely not let it go crazy because we do want the tree to kind of continue to grow and be healthy. So we'll see how it goes, but hopefully, um, hopefully it does fruit for me, but my plan for, uh, this year is actually to get a couple more gems. Cause I do have a gem from, from Maddox, which is what this gem came from. And I do have a gem from Laverne who, well, I shouldn't say Laverne cause Laverne got bought out. So they're not officially Laverne Nurseries anymore. And I'm looking to buy more gems from Brokaw. So I'd like to kind of do the comparison between Maddox, Brokaw, and Old Laverne. But I'm sure they're all the same. Um, but if I do get a Brokaw, it would probably be on one of the newer rootstock, which is why I would want to get uh, a gem from Brokaw. So... So oil content on the gem compared to the Hass, um, I, I think the Hass had a little bit more, it seemed like, but the Hass was a little bit more ripe. So I wonder if this could have uh, sat on the tree for a little longer uh, before I picked it. But I was really concerned because uh, we were getting some heavy winds and then some snow, actually, some hail, and of course we got... Uh, I call them UFOs, but they're essentially just critters that are going around and enjoying my avocados. So I figure I better just get it while I can for now. And this was my first, so I wanted to make sure I got it. But it probably could have used maybe a couple more weeks on the tree or even sat on the tree a little longer longer if uh, if, uh, if, there, if I wasn't concerned about um, squirrels. But, you know, once we have a lot more fruit, then uh, I wouldn't be so concerned. I, I definitely would allow it many fruit to kind of sit on a tree and just pick them slowly as the season kind of went by. So, Okay, so it's March 13th, and this is what my gem looks like today. And uh, I'll just kind of go up to the top here. You can see it's starting to form some flowers so that's a good sign even at the top here so I got this for Maddox so excited about um, having a gem here and considering that I only got it uh, a couple years ago and it's already fruited and then I'm expecting fruit this year so well I'm at least expecting flowers and then hopefully we get some fruit 
and uh, we'll definitely get a chance to enjoy some next year. So hopefully you guys are doing good and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.